So here's my model. Uh, I'm almost done with it. I still need to bring the roads in. And uh, I have a shapefile that I want to bring in. So let me go ahead and attach my shapefile. So I'll just go grab the shapefile, attach it. When I bring it in, I'm going to go ahead and configure it. So I'll double click on it to configure it. I'll set the road type or the type to roads. The uh, style. Oh, what style do we want these to default to? So I'll go ahead and pick a style. I'm just going to use this sidewalks here, sidewalks with lamps. But the thing is, is this data file has a road classification. I want to base my the styles of my roads on that classification. So I'm going to assign my, that to my description. <coughs> you don't have to assign it to the description. If you want to, you can come over here to the table and assign it to, you know, maybe user data or something along those lines. But in this case, I'm just going to assign it to the description. I think that's a fitting description, the road classification. So I'll find road class. And I'm going to assign that to the description of the roads. I'll go ahead and close and refresh this. It's going to bring the, my roads in. And as you can see, we have a lot of light posts in the city of Loveland now. And it's not quite what's happening here. If I select one of these roads and I go to its properties, you can see under the description it's set to highway divided. That is the classification of this road. And this is the property that I want to base off all my styles on. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up my rule sets. So if you hit the big orange eye up here, the same place where you can get to the data sources, click Create and Manage Your Model, and then go down to your style rules. So I'm going to open up my style rules. Now, you have to make sure you're creating a style for the correct thing. So I'm going to scroll down here until I see roads. Here's my roads. I want to create a roads style rule. So I'll go ahead and add a rule. Um, you give it a name, so this is, I'm just going to call this one local. This is going to be the rule for my local roads. Select OK. Now I've created the rule, but I need to go edit it. I can either select it, hit the edit button, or you can simply double click on it. Uh, in here you can change the name, you can give it a nice long description. Uh, what I'm going to focus on is the expression. So I'm going to come in here, I'm going to edit the expression. And now, what do I want to do? Well, I want to check, is the description equal to local? If it is, then it'll go assign these rules to it, styles to it rather. So I'm going to come down here to common. This is where the description is found. Description, this is what I want to check. So I'm going to double click on it and it takes that and it adds the description to the expression. Now I simply want to say, hey, is this equal to, I'll just put it in an equal sign, local. Now I don't want to type in local because, well, what if I mistype it or what if the, uh, the GIS data file has it spelled slightly different and it's not exactly the same thing I type. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here. I'm going to grab my property. So I'm going to choose description and this shows me all of the values for the description. Which one am I interested in? Well in this case I'm interested in local. So I double click on it and it inserts that in. So I'll select OK and I now have the description. Now if the description is equal to local, well what style do you want to use? So I'm going to go ahead and add a style. In this case, I'm going to use this sidewalk and green space. And I select OK. Now, another thing you can do is you can actually add multiple styles in here. So let's say, for example, you're doing this for buildings. Uh, this type of building has these styles that I want to assign to it. But I, I don't want to have to go through and do them all individually. So I can add them in here. And then if I scroll over to the right, I can put in a probability. So if they're all set to 1, it's going to be an even distribution. If I set one of these to 2 and the rest of them to 1, well, that one, the one with the value of 2 is going to be in there twice as much as the rest of them. In this case, that's not what I'm interested in. So I'll go ahead and hit OK, and it adds the rule here. So I've gone ahead and I've created the rest of these rules, so I'm going to go ahead and import them here. Yes, I want to import them. And so these are the rules that I've set up for this particular area. Once you've created the rules, all you have to do is click on Run Rules. As soon as you run the rules, it's going to take these rules and apply them to the objects and apply the appropriate styles. And now you can see my off-ramp here is a single lane. My divided highway has the lamps. Right? The highway is uh, two lanes in here. Uh, if you look up here, i got a, a little local road and... Um, got all sorts of different things. And really that's all there is to it. So just set up your rule set, run the rules, 
and you're done. Thanks for watching.